Hello, my dear students. Today I am again on MDSS YouTube channel, and today I am going to discuss about the associativity of rational numbers. In last class, I taught you about how to what are uh, closure properties and commutative properties. Today in this session, I have to discuss the associativity for whole numbers, integers and after that I will discuss about rational numbers. First I start with whole numbers. My dear students, you just see that here three whole numbers are A, B and C and you can just check for addition. It is associated, it is closed under associative property for subtraction of the three whole numbers it does not associate with associative property third one for multiplication of three whole numbers uh, it uh, uh, closed under associative property and uh, uh, in case of division it doesn't close under associative property so you have just to see that for addition and multiplication of three uh, whole numbers associate with associative property but it doesn't close under for subtraction and division it can be easily be understood by using three different whole numbers let's go further my dear student for example for any three whole numbers 2 3 and 4 first uh, for first addition you can just see that 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 4. It can be verified by using uh, examples and you just see that in LHS side when you have to put all these values then its result is 9. In RHS side by putting all these values result is also 9. What you observe in this case? You have just observed in this case that LHS is equal to RHS. And this proved that it is closed under uh, under addition. So, so for any whole numbers, it is verified. Mm, verified. For the subtraction, you have just see that I have just taken the same example, but I have just changed the sign. And in case of plus, in the first example, I have just changed into minus to all. What you have just observed? You observe that when you calculate then the value of LHS at LHS is equal to 3 uh, but RHS is minus 5. Since 3 does not equal to minus 5 then what you observe that LHS is not equal to RHS. This uh, verification tells us that it is not closed uh, for subtraction. My dear student, in third case, I have taken the same digits but I have just changed the sign. In place of uh, subtraction, I have just put here multiplication. And what I have concluded that? In LHS, its, its result is 24. In LHS, result is 24. And in both the cases, result is 24 24 and it means LHS is equal to RHS by this verification uh, it is observed that it is closed for uh, associative property my dear students division is not associative that you have just to see by by the similar example I have just taken uh, same number 2 3 4 but I have just change the sign division and what you observe LHS is actually 8 upon 3 RHS 2 upon 2 m and you know very well that 8 upon 3 does not equal to 2 upon 2 m then what is the final result LHS does not equal to RHS so you have to just keep in mind that it associative is related to close for true for addition and multiplication but does not associate 
फोर सब्रैक्शन एंड डिविजन फोर होल नंबर्स माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स फोर इंटीजर्स एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी इज सिमिलर टू द होल नंबर दैट यू हैव जस्ट लर्न सो एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी फॉर इंटीजर इज एसोसिएटेड विथ एडिशन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन बट इट डज नॉट एसोसिएटेड फॉर सब्रैक्शन एंड डिविजन इट कैन इजली बी सीन बाय टेकिंग एग्जाम्पल्स and the example that previously has taken four whole numbers since you know that whole number is also integer so same example can you repeat in this case or by taking any integer you can just verify and just see that in four the cases you if you have taken integers and you do the process for addition and multiplication then it is associative but does not associate in the case of subtraction and division so you have to do yourself let's proceed for addition numbers suppose that a upon b c upon d and e upon f are three rational numbers then you have just to see that associative property for uh, rational numbers three rational numbers it is uh, associate with uh, three rational numbers a upon b plus c upon d plus e upon f is equal to a upon b plus c upon d uh, and plus e upon f you have just to see that in this case when uh, c upon d plus e upon f first added and then added with a upon b you have to see that the similar result that you have get when you have to add a upon b plus c upon d at first then you have to uh, add with e upon f so when you have find the sum that result of lhs side and rhs side both are equal you have just see by taking one example my dear student i have just taken a upon b is equal to 2 upon 3 a rational number c upon d is equal to 3 upon 4 another rational number and e upon f is equal to 3 upon 2 a rational number when i have just put in the lhs side then i get the result 35 upon 2 when when again put in rhs side then what you have uh, we get uh, 35 upon 2 when my dear students what uh, uh, we conclude we observe that in both the cases in lhs 35 upon 12 in rhs 35 upon 12 then lhs is equal to rhs actually we have conclude that uh, it is uh, associate so addition of three rational number associate with associative property my dear students for subtraction i have uh, just taken the three rational numbers a upon b c upon d and e upon f what you have just observed in this case lhs does not equal to rhs and uh, it uh, subtraction of three rational number does not associate and it can be verified by taking the same num uh, same rational numbers but i have just change the sign and uh, when i have uh, uh, done the calculation in lhs side get uh, 17 upon 2 and in rhs side minus 19 upon 2 and and what you have just uh, see that 17 upon 2 and cannot be equal to minus 19 upon 2 and, and uh, uh, it means lhs does not equal to rhs my dear students you just see in the case of multiplication for three rational numbers a upon b c upon d and e upon f it is associate and uh, and uh, you can just see it by take it by uh, examples my dear and in lhs side when you have to uh, take uh, in place of a upon b c upon d e upon f 
2 upon 3, 3 upon 4 and 3 upon 2 respectively then what you have observed in the case of LHS 18 upon 24 in a RHS 18 upon 24 what you have observed you observe that LHS is equal to RHS and this is the verification uh, for um, associative property for multiplication of three racer numbers my dear students when you have just see in the case of division uh, for three racer numbers then it uh, does not associate it and it can be easily be verified by taking the example and you have just to see in this case LHS is equal to 24 upon 18 RHS is 16 upon 27 and you know that 24 upon 18 does not equal to 16 upon 27 and this is why LHS does not equal to LHS or LHS does not equal to RHS so what you have just concluded for racer numbers racer number associate uh, for three racer numbers associate with addition and multiplication but does not associate with uh, subtraction and division so my dear rest of the properties i will discuss in the next video and hope to enjoy this video